moving to New Zealand the easiest way and fastest way. The visa is out in six weeks and the visa cost is 715 New Zealand dollars. Yes, no other way than moving to New Zealand with a diploma course. Yes, that will get you a visa and that will get you a visa after studies, which is a post study work visa and you are going to qualify for temporary or permanent resident visa depending if your course is in the green list we are going to cover all this today how you're going to find this and how you're going to apply and we're going to share all the schools in new zealand that offer diploma courses nqf seven six as well and there are courses different courses some selected courses that if you study in a lower grade even certificate diploma level normal diploma not even postgraduate diploma it can get you post study work visa in new zealand okay so we're going to share all these schools and all the links on how to find admission and how to grab your study visa to move to new zealand to settle like settle permanently if this sounds like something you want to hear please sit back and let's dig in all right welcome like share comment i'm taking you straight to new zealand um study visa website to show you some stuff before we move on okay so we are talking about fee paying study visa if you're from any of those european countries your working holiday visa can allow you to study for certain months but today we are talking about the real visa study visa okay so I want you to take note, it's a length of stay is four years, cost is $750 New Zealand dollars, and processing time, 80% of this visa will be processed in six weeks, okay? Then there are other requirements, you need to study full time, and it has to be school, tertiary, um, if there's other visa conditions, which I'm not going to read now, which you can read on your own. Because we have other important things to cover, okay? All right, let's go to postgraduate work visa. That is the main reason of this video today, okay? You need to know the courses that will allow you to grab postgraduate work visa, like the diploma courses, postgraduate diploma, and undergraduate diploma, and even certificates, okay? That will allow you to grab postgraduate work visa, okay? that is very important and that is what we're going in now to see all right for postgraduate work visa there are certain courses you need to um do for you to qualify for post uh study work visa and that is what we're going to explain now. all right so it's not new for you to know that nqf level seven to ten anything you study in that level Will automatically give you postgraduate work visa however let's talk about the one that is less okay okay a typical nqf 7 is a, a degree which will take you more than two years okay but let's talk about the one that will take you only one year that is graduate diploma the one that will qualify you will be something like graduate diploma in construction uh, projects manager construction project manager or project builder uh, project builder, quantity surveyor, quantity surveyor, secondary school teacher, that is diploma, postgraduate diploma we are talking about here now, early childhood, um, graduate diploma, um, a diploma, remember I talked about the diploma, that is under, under a degree, which is a diploma, which is NQF level 6, a diploma in construction project manager, a normal diploma, NQF, NQF, six in construction project so you see it's more of construction construction project civil engineer civil engineer um um level diploma normal diploma okay normal college diploma electrical engineering technician electrical technician dairy center manager a normal diploma automatic automotive electrician diesel motor mechanic this is motor mechanic is a certificate so if you have a certificate in diesel motor mechanic if you study it in new zealand you'll be qualified okay even diary farmer 
we have some agricultural colleges in New Zealand as well. So automotive electrician, diesel mechanic, dairy cattle, farmer, and so on. These are the qualifications that are lesser than seven or one year program that will qualify you to get postgraduate work visa in New Zealand. This is very beautiful. Okay. So one thing with me is that I don't just say something. I like to show you the real deal because it is okay for me to say, um, diploma and certificate can get you New Zealand visa without telling you the real one you're supposed to go for. Instead, you are wasting your money. Okay, so this is it. Remember, all the link will be dropped in the description section of this video, so you can go and read yourself and get all this link in one site. Okay, okay. Let me quickly show you New Zealand NQF level. Okay, certificate um micro credential is level one, two, three they cannot give you postgraduate work visa but if you study anything from level seven to ten that is from diploma bachelor degree graduate certificate graduate diploma um honors and so on masters and doctorate it will automatically give you uh qualify you for postgraduate work visa however there are level five and six uh um level qualification that can give you the same postgraduate work visa and that is what i have just shared okay now we are moving forward like remember some of them are one year program that's why we say it's cheap and it's easy okay now we are moving to show you the schools where you can obtain these qualifications all right all right so these are the list of popular universities in new zealand these universities will give you postgraduate um diploma and certificate Please make sure you check those courses we release. So University of Auckland, University of Otago, uh, Victoria University, University of Canterbury, is it Massey University and um, Lincoln, Lincoln University. So the links uh, will be provided as well. All you need to do is to find those courses. For example, I think diploma courses, you don't need um, to have previous qualification in tertiary to obtain it. However, I'm going to show you combination of colleges and universities. So you see where to go for undergraduate diploma and certificate in QF4. Those ones we mentioned, those courses we mentioned, and um so these are the list okay so this is a combination of um universities and colleges in new zealand okay i'll provide a link now i'm going to tell you something if for me if i'm going to pursue this process what i would do is that i will go to those qualification that will help you to obtain postgraduate work visa in new zealand so bachelor degree and and um masters and um phd is certain so whichever one you study as long as it's in the green list i'm going to share green list now that is another link i'm going to share okay so as long as it's in the green list that automatically qualifies you however for this postgraduate work visa uh, postgraduate uh, diploma and certificate and normal diploma that is undergraduate diploma and certificate that will qualify you for postgraduate work visa that is where you should concentrate on picking from those courses that immigration has listed which i have shown you okay so you go there and pick those courses and apply for them in these schools okay and these are the few colleges as well you can see manuka university i don't uh, college i don't know what i call it very well but they offer different courses even in construction and agriculture please check on them and see okay check on them and see they offer so many courses and there are more colleges as well okay you see the courses they offer they offer a lot of um courses as well okay okay this is another college this is another college that offer a lot of courses as well so there have been a lot of colleges i've provided in this video however you can still go for example and say um study go to google and ask study um schools to study or just say study cattle farming in new zealand or study a diploma in construction in new zealand because i'm sure diploma of construction is mentioned then google will give you options of schools as well and the courses then you can compare 
Okay, so you can do it that way. However, I want to show you the green list and the link will be provided in that blog. Okay, thank you. All right, so this is New Zealand green list. It's tier one, tier two. I'm going to repeat again that this green list is a guide for you if you are doing bachelor degree, masters and um, PhD and you want to obtain postgraduate work visa you want to obtain a uh, um, temporary resident and permanent resident when you finish now if you want to obtain postgraduate work visa in new zealand and you are doing diploma like the cheap one undergraduate one and postgraduate work visa please check the list of qualification acceptable qualification we have shared here that is where you should be concentrating okay now green list is like skill occupation list in australia is where they keep all the qualification that will fetch you temporary resident visa and permanent resident visa in new zealand so you can open it up check the link and it will guide you all right now this brings us to the end of this video okay now you know i didn't go deep into um um the cost but the cost of studying one year program is far cheaper than studying three to four years cost visa i think it ranges from twenty thousand new zealand dollars it depends on the school okay for one year diploma and so okay but when you open the school because each school has their school fees when you go to any schools you will check and you will also compare okay so that's where it comes cheaper and you settle after at least you are sure of your postgraduate work visa all right now you know that doing a one-year program in new zealand can settle you in new zealand this is unlike australia it can give you um student visa and postgraduate study visa why not try that brings us to the end of this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe like share See you again in my next video. Bye.